Good afternoon, colleagues. I called you all in this afternoon because we got a message from the dean. He's very unhappy with the high number of students passing the anatomy exam. So we have to start failing more students. So our meeting today is about how to fail more students in anatomy 101. So let's start with Dr. Rekashi. What question would you ask a student to fail him immediately? I have an easy one. Uh, show me please here in this skull the common border of the retropharyngeal space, the parapharyngeal space, and the parotid nest. But it's impossible to show here. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Tibor Holoshi, do you have something to add? Yes, I would in addition to each question add a lot of size after the student answer. A demonstration maybe? Yes. <sighs> Very good. Andrea Tamash, please show us how to properly fail a student. Oh, um, I'm so sorry. I have to fail you today because it's not enough. But I hope that you can come back next week and I'm sure that you will pass. Oh boy. Oh boy. You are treating the students as if they were in a kindergarten. That's beautiful. He's right, Andrea. This was terrible. I see we have a lot of work to do. Please, Dr. Horvath, show her how it's done. Bring in the victim, please. So, sir? How many chromosomes does a cell have after meiosis 2? Mm, 36. Maybe, in case you are a banana. <laughs> Do you hear this noise? Yes, Your train has left. Please walk up with me to the window. Do you see the trees outside? Yes, they have no leaves now. We'll have to come back when they have leaves again. Could you give me another chance, please? Please, don't fail me. Everybody knows I don't talk to the wife of my son. I hate my children. Why would I have sympathy with you? You are failed. Get out from here. 